Bill, I want to thank you again uh, for joining us back in March. And I'm sure our viewers remember that, you know, the same day that Bill Ackman was on here talking about hell is coming, you said it was a once in a generation buying opportunity. Is, is it a tougher call today? Well, yeah, it's a much tougher call today because prices are very different from what they were back in, you know, back in March. That's what made it so, uh, so uniquely um, uh, timely to make sure that people got invested. Right now, the market is uh, it's still a bull market. I mean, I, I think that's one of the messages of the election. The extremes uh, were, were kind of paired off. You know, we, we've got, we got we're apparently going to have uh, Mr. Biden, who's a, a much more, um, let's just say, calm person and uh, uh, less confrontational than, than President Trump. And but most of the policies that people in the markets are worried about are probably not going to not going to happen. I think one of the risks in the market will be, um, and I don't expect this to actually happen because I, I, I know that uh, Vice President Biden and Mitch McConnell have known each other for, you know, for decades and, and get along pretty well. So I, I think that there's a good chance for kind of a centrist uh, set of policies with modest tax increases, and, if any, and then uh, and fiscal stimulus that is not, the, that's not as, uh, I'd say, as excessive as, as has been talked about. But overall, overall, I think that I think that the market's telling you that, that the bull market is continuing and it's it's a bull market that began on a secular basis back in March of 09. And it continues and it can have corrections and it can have setbacks. But until you until the, the basic building blocks of any bull market change, um, you're in a bull market. And those, you know, those building blocks are the economy growing, uh, the Fed accommodative interest rates, not uh, not excessive uh, and inflation quiescent. And we have we have all of those things. So I, I think that that's the, those yeah. are the four key things you have to look at. So let's go over some of the names in this portfolio that have gotten you uh, returns doubling from the lows, doubling what the S&P has done. Uh, it's some familiar names like Amazon, Alibaba and Facebook and Alphabet. Uh, but I know that you're not as bullish on big tech as you are maybe the more value parts of the market. You're in, in other holdings that you have include ADT, Stitch Fix, uh, One Main, Taylor Morrison Home. So, you know, it, it's not like you're saying, you know, throw out big tech, but are you one of the people who thinks that the long, long awaited and overdue kind of shift to value is here, especially because we started to see this pause when it looked like the blue wave wasn't coming? So is that just a, a temporary setback? I, I think the bull market is going to is going to be good for growth and for uh, and for traditional traditional value. But I do think that the the traditional value names will, will move into the ascendancy here. Uh, and that's what we're that's what you know, we saw a reversal of some of the some of the selling that had taken place in tech, the two corrections that we had in the in the mega cap names. And overall, the, the other names did did quite well. Um, and then that got reversed out because of the expectation that, that uh, Mr. Biden is going to win, but the Republicans going to keep the going to keep the Senate. And I think it's going to be much more balanced going forward. But I think the advantage will be to to value, because I do believe that the Fed it's going to take the Fed a while. But they're going to they will if they if they stay the course, they will be able to get inflation to 2 percent. And that's it's going to go higher if they do that, because they want it to be symmetrical around two. So they're going to have to let it get to get to three or so. That means greater pricing power for the value names. And, and obviously that means greater growth and because, you know, both sides of the economy growing. And so growth won't be so scarce as it is. And so the great growth names, which are still going to do fine, I think, but they're not going to do as well relative to the market as they have done. But we own both. We own we have factor diversification. So we've got the, the, the big tech and we got small names and we got, you know, companies. So you mentioned Taylor Morrison that people say they can't find a cheap stock. Taylor Morrison's got you know, six times next year's earnings and it's a home builder and home building is on you know, it was on fire. Tev is one of our favorite names, created three point four times earnings. So there's there's 60 percent of the stocks in the S&P last time I checked were down uh, this year. So there's a lot. There's a lot to buy out there. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.